Good Saturday morning, and welcome to Ice Age TV, the internal combustion engine age YouTube channel. Talks about all my cars and trucks and motorcycles, SUVs. Oh, there's a sticker. You want one? Ice Age TV. Comments at gmail.com. What am I doing? What am I doing? Hey, the kid and the wife have left me. They left me. They're in Tennessee. I'm up north here. A little chillier day. And what am I up to today? It's a Saturday morning. I'm not doing the conversations. I mean, I'm up to something. I mean, if you watch my videos, you'll see that I'm now the proud owner of a bunch of guns. If you watch my channel, I brought a bunch of guns at the gun show. And I did a uh, Jeep, purple Jeep, drive around 392. But what am I doing now? What am I doing now? What do you think I'm up to? I'm an adventure. I'm going to go buy something. Stay tuned. What do you think it is? Can you actually guess what I may go buy today with the wife out of town and the kid out of town? Uh-oh. All right. Uh, it's always a challenge. Why is it always a challenge? <laughs> because when you have these many damn vehicles like I do, uh, I got my trailer back here. I need a trailer. I need a trailer. Now, why do I need, like, that trailer? I mean, why would I be using this trailer today? Versus maybe I'd be using one of these trailers. Somebody here uh, watching my channel would be like, yeah, why do you need that trailer? In hindsight, I should have backed the damn thing in so I'd get the thing in and out of this place probably easier, but I was not smart. But yeah, so what are we up to? Well, uh, yeah, I don't know. Let me just think this through for a second. Oh, the adventures. The adventures never end. Uh, that's just who I am. I always like to be an adventure. And being a single guy this weekend, the wife and kid have abandoned me. I got an idea. What is that idea I'm going to do? But here's the breaking news. Breaking news for those that watch my channel. I got great news. You see the motorcycle collection back here? And somebody that watch my channel know about the motorcycle collection. They know about an Indian motorcycle called an Indian Pursuit. This is the Challenger. Elite Series, but I got an Indian Pursuit. I've been going back and forth at the Indian dealer to try to get it resolved. And finally, finally breaking news, Indian Corporate called me yesterday. They are buying back the Indian Pursuit. Uh, they kind of know who I am, which is pretty cool. And they know I'm a dedicated Indian person. So to put the, this to bed, the Indian Pursuit is being bought back. Isn't that great or what? Oh, the week, the week of conversations. If you watch my channel and had the full week of watching it, how I talked about commitments and goals and rejections, and uh, I can't even remember everything myself. Oh, negativity and uh, positive. Yeah, it's, it's Saturday morning. I'm just getting going. Yeah, so the week of conversations, commitment, goals, uh, rejection, negativity, and the positive. So on Friday, the positive news finally came through for me to hear Indian tell me they're going to buy back my Indian pursuit and give me all my money back. Um, wow. <laughs> that is really cool because it opens a door for me to think about, okay, uh, what do I want next? Right? That's the danger that's being bought back. And I've got some people really interested in challengers. So many people, I like, don't let it go. You know, I've got this thing at a pretty uh, salty price. If somebody paid it, I would let it go. I mean, that's the reality. Uh, I've got this thing at a pretty high price. If somebody pays it, I can get another Indian Elite. In all sincereness, uh, you know, I'll be pretty healthy in uh, monies if I sell this bike. So, but yeah, it's not like an urgent thing. But the whole point is, with Indian Pursuit now, you know, coming out of my uh, lineup... If I was to sell the Challenger, I'd only be down to one Indian for the first time for me in like uh, four years. Wow. So so what am I doing now, right? So what I'm always up to something. And it's very interesting that if you watch my channel, which I'm sure those that watch it are fully abreast of way too many toys. And you know, I go to the Honda dealer the other day just to stop in because I was out there picking up some equipment out in their area. And what does it turn into? It turns into, well, they got something sitting in the Honda dealer that I think I'm going to bring home. So if you're watching my channel, uh, stay tuned for the big reveal of what am I buying next. What do you think I am buying next that's a Honda product? What would be your guess? But here's the challenge. I need that trailer over there. All these trailers are stuffed with motorcycles. <laughs> I'm out of room. 
Uh, I got to get this car out of the way. So there's my first project, getting vehicles out of the way just to get the adventure of the day. So stay tuned. Eeny, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which vehicle do I use to tow? Right? Did you hear that? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Which vehicle will I use to tow? Um, love my power boost. Love the Bronco. I really love this F-250 Tremor. I think this is going to be such the right vehicle with the attitude of what I'm going to go buy. I really think this perfectly matches what I'm up to. So I think I'm going to take the rough and tough F-250. I just love this truck. I think I'm going to get that one car out of the way right there. My good old Mustang. I think I'm going to be in pretty good shape. So uh, it's all about which vehicle do I drive today? Okay. And, Jesus Christ, the race truck's coming back. Could you even imagine if I got that Jeep Wrangler 392 yesterday, purple one, if that deal had gone down, and I added that to the driveway, and then I added the race truck back in the driveway? Is this starting to look like a used car lot? I mean, good Lord. Wow. All right. Let's get the good old diesel started up. This thing's low on fuel, so sometimes these things turn off. But yeah, let's take the Tremor. I just love the truck. Just really do. So I'm going to get this, get the Mustang out of the way, and get on our way. Wow, this Mustang here, this thing is just so nice. I mean, this Mustang, with this new Roush H-pipe H -pipe setup. Um, I wish I could do a remote start. I'm going to have to do a regular remote start here, but I'll get out of the car as fast as possible just so you can hear this car. I mean, good Lord. You hear this thing? Jesus Christ. So many ways it's like working at the used car dealer a lot you know for me i'm constantly moving things around i say to my dad all the time hey dad i should uh be in the car business i should own my own car dealership my dad's like you already do son <laughs> right so now i gotta man maneuver this big ass truck in there get the trailer set up gotta get my straps and yeah so here we go what do you think i'm buying what do you think i'm buying Wonder what people are gonna comment and say. Amazing. I may have the perfect drop for this big ass truck. You know, this truck is so high up in the air. But you know what's incredible? I've already remembered, I don't even have all my right components. Cause this has that big ass, see that? I gotta get another piece. This even still be big enough? I don't know, drop long enough? I think that charge me tilted back, but not a big deal. Okay, decisions, decisions. Say, I need this adapter. But part of me says to take my aluminum um, setup here because that may be, um, that may work. I think I need a much bigger drop. So let me check this out here. Oh, man. The projects, they just don't end. Look at this. Look at all the components you need if you want to make this drop utilize this uh, really nice setup to get that trailer so it's pretty much flat so you have to have two of these slide in this is a heavy duty f-250 truck and the back hitch is set up for just big ass towing you have to have one two components to downsize it to fit into that smaller style hitch oh wow this pin it doesn't even go far enough through they get a whole longer pin Jeez. You just gotta love technology. I mean, boy, who just remember the days of getting in on your truck five times to get your uh, trailer hooked up? Who doesn't know these stories, right? There it is, right there, I think. A little bit more. Oh, I hit both too much. We'll be all right. <laughs> you watching my channel? This is a trailer that I got down in Florida. If anybody remembers this, the race truck. We really need a race truck today to pull this. That'd be more appropriate, but I think. I got her just about right as far as high hot, how low to the ground. 
you keep this thing pretty flat. Oh, the never ending challenges. You know, Ford makes these big ass receivers, but they don't make these holes. These things won't work. This will not go in there and actually clip in. If you look here, so look here. This will not actually clip in. So I get creative. I go through this and then I attach it that way. See that? Gotta outsmart the damn chains. It's just incredible. Alrighty. Got the uh, lights. That's a good thing. When I first got this truck, the rear uh, lights didn't work. And I was like, what a joke. And I climbed up underneath the truck and right back in here behind this bumper, there's, a, there's actually a plug, plug and play, and it wasn't connected properly. It wasn't pushed all the way in. So I was like, what a joke. I bought this truck and it's got rear electrical problems. But that wasn't the case. All right. Windy, somewhat cool, not too bad. And time to get on the road and go on an adventure. Oh, it's the never ending go buy something day. Is that what it is? My channel would be like, man, it seems like every other day or every week you're on a mission to go buy something else. It's about the dang truth. But you know, I was at the Honda dealer the other day and I was telling the guys like, wow, this is the first time for me. I'd have to say uh, since like 1998, 97 that I didn't have a vehicle on my property. And I was like, that's hard to believe. I mean, how many years is that? That's like a 20, 23, 26 years. And I got to think, you know what? And that's a danger. I'm in the showroom. And I'm like, oh, here we go. Here we go. So, uh, yeah, so I'll continue not to tell you what I'm buying. <laughs> Just so you watch the video, right? <laughs> the punishment. So, got to get fuel, though. Got to go to my local store here and get some diesel fuel. And that's always a challenge because this little store is always you know, pack. You know what? I'm going to go to town. Forget that. I'm going to get some breakfast. Yesterday, if you watched my channel, I drove that Jeep Wrangler 392 and the, uh, I mean, really nice vehicle. I mean, actually, I'm impressed with the way that vehicle rode, but it's a gas hog. But come to find out, it's the same couple that lives up the road here from where I live that in some ways is just as bad as me where they buy a new car they keep it a little while then they get rid of it and actually i own one of the jeep Grand cherokee uh l that i bought my wife it's the same people i mean i need to follow these people around because they drive a car a little bit and get rid of it and take a huge loss so just to give you an example that jeep um that purple jeep i'm sure is about a 92 or ninety four thousand dollar uh, MSRP vehicle. And I can tell you, they didn't get a discount at Dulles Dodge a year ago. Uh, did they pay more? I doubt they did because they factory ordered it. But here's the point that dealer down there probably gave them about 72. That would be my good friend that's a salesman. He's like, nah, they probably gave me 72 grand. So, you know, $20,000 hit. And they bought that thing of basically November of last year. Actually, it was December of last year. And they traded it in in August, so eight months. So that's two grand a month, close to three grand a month, $2,500 a month of uh, depreciation. But yeah, so am I the one to speak about that? Right. But anyways, other news was when I was going to there to do the trust drive, I had to go take care of some business, and Indian actually called me, and the gentleman on the phone was a very nice uh, individual, and he really did know he, he basically he's like yeah i've seen the videos i kind of know who you are and, and you know whatever and so he said yeah i mean what he's like well what do you want to do i said well i prefer if you just buy the bike back and he's like all right you know i said I, he's like i'm sure we can make that happen he said would you be interested in another pursuit i said you know as easy as it for me it's easy for me to say yeah let's just swap out bikes i was like i don't know i don't know if i want another pursuit and maybe on a Roadmaster. I don't know. I said, really, I would prefer just you guys to buy the bike back and then I can just start from scratch. I can go to the dealership. I'd rather probably get a 24 Indian if I go to the Indian again. I wouldn't get a 23. Um, so I said, you know, let's just start from scratch and 
and let's just do that. And he's like, that's fine. He was like, we're, I'll be more than happy to make everything work. And uh, and they're going to take the bike back, and they're really going to take that part, that bike apart, to really figure out what's going on because he uh, he claims that you know this isn't as big a problem as maybe some out there are trying to you know make it sound. I guess he's probably in some ways you know sending me a message like, hey man, don't ruin the Indian Pursuit brand because. There's a ton of Indian pursuits out there that aren't having this issue, so please don't get too radical on me. He didn't say that, but I think that's what he's kind of implying. It's like it is not, uh, you know, we're not buying back a bunch of Indian pursuits, so we're getting the, the, these problems resolved. But anyway, he's really great. I'm so glad Indian took the uh, the position to do that, and now I just feel like for me they respect me, and that's what it's all about. You know, I talk about it all the time. We all want to feel like you're respected by others for uh, the challenge you have so uh, there's an update on that as i head to town get some diesel fuel and get some breakfast